My dad now owns this land, and he's going to tear your stupid car to the ground. Come on, Henri, let's ride. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, who found the body trolley? Local pastor. Good morning, Vicar. Indeed, it's not a good morning, Mr. Barnaby, for I have sinned. Hmm. Skewered by a Nobel Peace Prize. How ironic. Well, nothing more we can do, Troy. Back to the station for some more cream cakes, please. But, sir, I need to tell you... Oh, get out of the way, Oh, The boy was bludgeoned to death by a Nobel Peace Prize. Hmm. Interesting. Why, sir? Midsummer Worthing, playing Badger's Drift, Shepherd's Lodge today. Well, all we have to do is find the only person in town who owns the Nobel Peace Prize. Of you, so brain Troy. The prize could easily have been stolen. Why do we get forensic on, forensics on it? I was saying, this is a village constabulary. We can't afford fancy labs and such like. And anyway, forensics would be useless. After all, I repeatedly took hold of the victims and the Nobel Prize Spies whilst looking at it before. Did the boy have any enemies? Well, he did disgrace the local farm, but I think we can rule that out and... Perfect. Bring him in. And whilst you're doing that, I'll attend to the more important matter of getting some more cream cakes. I can't tell you I'll now do with that murder! I wasn't even there on the evening! That turnip provider Bird Jones could rectify the story! I doubt that. Bert Jones was found dead this morning. No! Who killed him? I did, actually. I ran him over when I went to get some more cream cakes. Your alibi is nothing. To jail, Cyril Crabtree. Hmm. Now I'm in need for some more cream cakes. Mr. Barnaby, I confess! Oh, get out of the way, big guy. I haven't had time for this. I've got to make a date with the cream cake shop. Ah, nice box of cream cakes, two pound fifty and deep. Ah! 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 Troy! Troy! Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I must have fallen asleep reading next season's scripts. I've been kidnapped. I've only just escaped. We'd better check on the prisoner. Let me do it my tie while we're on with it. Okay. Oh god, I must have fallen asleep reading the scripts! Hmm. Looks like the farmer has made like my driving license and expired. Cool, sir. A note. This was the only way I could get him to listen to me. I killed Luke Ghetto, signed. There's too much blood on the paper, Troy. Well, it seems obvious to me that the killer was the farmer. He obviously killed the rapscallion in a sort of hatred war after he took over his farm and took over his farm and couldn't live with the guilt, so wrote this note and topped himself. Hmm, well put, Barnaby. I think I deserve another cream cake. Oh, you got my note? You wrote this note? Oh, grow up, Troy. As I said, the farm wrote it just before he committed suicide. I killed him! What was that, Troy? I killed the fire leader and the lover's tiff and the low-life farmer. She keeps getting stale, Rev. I'm off. Oh, I bet he's a girlfriend of yours! I'll kill you, you <laughs> damn ah! body so tried to fray the farmer, my guilty conscience told me to confess, but you wouldn't listen. To top it all off, you kidnapped D.I. Barnaby as well. No, I didn't do that. Oh, that was just some punk kids who I told to move along a few weeks ago. Well, it was quite simple, really. He was the only one in this area to own a Nobel Peace Prize. 
Really? Yes. I'm glad I cracked the case eventually. I think for that I deserve another cream cake. <laughs> He'll explode! <laughs>